today's weather on the mountain. The cloud covers come down to about 700 metres yeah. above sea level. Very much a uh, whiteout mist at um, the, the springs today. Uh, mid Midsummer. It's, um, Which is unusual. It's a unusual. bit unusual. It's only 12, 12, 13 degrees at the moment. Mm. But um, you can come up here in midwinter and the sun shining and it's very nice. Mm. Summer, winter. The, um, the weather conditions on Mount Wellington... Uh, especially in the in the in the cooler months, can change quite rapidly and quite severely from one extreme to another. So um. yeah, because like Mount Wellington has ex it's got exposed to the, uh, basically um, the um, the southwest, the Wellington Range, and the plateau joins up with the, um, the Eastern Arthur Ranges and. It's exposed to the um, basically the the weather that comes in from the um, Southern Ocean. So it can be midsummer and it's a nice sunny day, and then you can get a, a front will come through, and you'll you'll get um you can get a um, severe snowstorm. Mm -hmm. You can be up on the top of the mountain, and if you're not prepared for it, you can um, like you've got to have your wet weather gear and. And, and tucker and stuff, you can actually, a um, few people have come to grief. Mm -hmm. It is but it is a good thing um, to, to uh, be about your wits uh, when you're bushwalking on the mountain, um, especially as Bradley was yeah, explaining you get, get above, in those times. Yeah, you know, the plateau is, you know, 800, 800 metres to 1,000 metres above sea level. Sometimes... Um, um, with the uh, conditions of the atmosphere, uh, meaning the uh, air around the mountain c can sometimes have a, a, a hazy, dusty appearance. Um, yeah, like the Blue Mountains mm, in, in um, mm, which, a Blue Haze. Yeah, you know, which, which helps give the mountain the, its yeah. particular co uh, colour. When you wrote the song Mountain Blue, that, yeah. that, was, that was basically um, a referral to... Um, the blue haze skies yeah. on the mountain. Yeah. Well, basically, um, when you measure it from one extreme to the other, um, in um, summertime, um, it's not it's not common for it to be cold on the mountain, but in the wintertime, it is most common for it to be cold. Well, the weather when it snows like a big a big snowstorm in midwinter. You'll get you can get snow um, like average. You'll, a, a big storm will come down to 400 metres, mm. but which will take you down to um, fern tree. Uh, a fern tree, yeah. the fern tree tavern. Mm. But in and once every uh, every 20 or 30 years, you might get a a snowstorm that will go right down to sea level. It's yeah. very rare, but mm. it has happened yeah. in our lifetime. I've experienced yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Probably the the most common form of uh, snow cloud is referred to as. Cumulonimbus, which is a, um, it's a common cloud for thunderstorms and it's a common cloud also in the winter time to produce snow. Yeah. If the sun shines on the top of Cumulonimbus cloud and if it, if it has an appearance of being um, <coughs> extremely white, um, that's uh, most common to produce uh, heavy snowfall, especially on the upper slopes of the mountain. Yeah, and when it does snow, the actual the air temperature, <clears throat> okay, just before it snows, it gets really cold. Mm. Then when it snows, it actually warms up a little bit, mm. which is a, yeah. a strange thing. 